Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to add column name as a header row in destination file while loading the SQL table data in SSIS. So first I will show what is my table and how the data looks like. So this is my ICIC underscore cricket in sports database. It contains five columns and 30 rows. So ICC has given a ranking to all batsmen based on their performance in three different formats. That is T20, ODI, Test. So there are different countries here is the table. There are eight countries are there. So I use it to take this country name as a header column as a in destination file. So under Australia, what are all the different players related to Australia will come in the, te in the text document. Later England, how many players are there will come under the England header. So I am I want to display the data like this. First I am sure how many players country wise are there in the table. Count group by country. So Australia seven, England two, India six, New Zealand four, like that. Header will created with Australia under Australia under Australia seven players will come like that. One two three like that. Like that. Later England. And two players like that, the data will will be loaded into the destination file. Now, <coughs> for that, I am taking uh, first execute SQL task. Execute SQL task to, to get the distinct values of the country from from the table. Later, I am using the for each loop for each loop container. To, um, to iterate the stored value, iterate the uh, values from the stored variable. Third one I am using is the data flow task. This data flow task is used to get the data of the unique country value. So in the data flow task, um, OLDB source is the input source and the flat file destination is the destination target source, target file. So I am using the same data flow task one more time. In first data flow task, I am using to get the district country value and by using the second data flow task, I use it to take the other column name, other values of the columns from the table corresponding to the distinct country value in, in, in first data flow task. So this is how our, pa our package looks like. Now I will show how to do this in this demo. So this is my new package. I first am creating two variables here. First variable is country. So I am taking this as the object, object variable. So this means um, when, when the values of the distinct values of this uh, countries will be stored in this in this object that is country and second one is query query I, I am taking it in the data type as a string so these two variables I am taking now I am dragging the execute SQL task inside control control flow pane double click to configure here, result set is to take full result set, set and connection type it is taken new connection. So, it means is my server name, sports is my database. I am taking this. So, uh, SQL source type is uh, directed input. So, here we need to write distance um, select distinct. From 
ICC cricket. So I am taking this query, place it in SQL query, and click OK. So when you go to result set and add the mapping, result name as zero and variable name is country. So this is about the configuration of the exit SQL task. Now I am dragging the for each loop container. This for each loop container to iterate the unique values of the country column. To configure, double click. So here you need to select enumerator as the ADO enumerator because we, we already created one object variable. So by using this enumerator, you can select the object variable and in variable mappings, you can go and select the query and index by default, it will take zero. Click OK. Now I'm dragging the data pro task inside. Double click. Since my source is the SQL table, I am taking it the OLDB source. Double click. So here in data access mode, you need to take the SQL command. SQL command. Here you need to write same query, but in where condition, I need to mention where country is equal to question mark so this question it will take in every time when the loop is running the this value will take from the from the country column so the parameters i am taking here as query parameter variable Okay, so when you go to columns, only one column is there because we wrote a SQL query for only country column. So I am okay for this. Now I am driving the flat field destination, connecting with the original resource, take new, delimited, and select the new one. Here I am creating one more text file that is header I am taking this header and columns only one column click OK mappings OK so configuration is done for control for data for task I am dragging one more data pro task inside for each loop container and connecting with the first one double click I am taking the same table again OLDB source double click so here one, one more time I am taking the data access mode as SQL command and here you need to Paste the command. What are the different values you have in the the table? It is ICC underscore. Take all those values. The column names. Now I am taking first one is rank. The second one is name, third one is rating. I want to take country because country is the header name. Under the country, you will get all these details. Next one is format. Format. From table name again, you need to mention where condition. 
பேர் So you will get uh, all, all columns that are mentioned in the query. Click OK. Now you will drag file flat file destination one more time. Connecting with the flat file destination. Double click and select your one. We already created one header. Header dot text. Yeah, header dot text. Select this one. And go to columns. You will get all four columns that are mentioned in the query. Go to mapping. So no need to do any manual mapping. This is okay. So configuration is done for, uh, for the package. Entire package almost done. Now I am about to run the package. Once again, make sure that your source document that is header just zero, zero given. There is no data. Once after running the package, the first Australia will display. Under Australia, there are seven players. England, England, there are two players like that. The data will be loaded into this document. Yeah, this is how the data will display. See here, Australia is uh, one header row. Under Australia, there are seven players: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. England is one more header row, and two players. And India is one more header row. There are six players. Like that, the data will display. So this is how you need to create the header information. So I will one more one more time. I am explaining the package. First, you, you need to create the two variables. After creating the two variables, first you write the click the execute SQL task and it run. So it will pick the distinct values, uh, unique values from the country column, and store it in the full result set variable. Afterwards, the for each loop container will run. So it will pick each and every unique value. And first, it pass the unique value to first data flow task. When it executes the first data flow task, in this data flow task, in this data flow task will get the unique value from the object object variable. And from this data flow task, it will run the second data flow task, and it will get the remaining values corresponding to the country unique value. So that is the reason we are creating the two data products inside the 
for each loop container. So this is how you need to create the header, header row, under header row, you have to create, load the uh, remaining data under each header row. Hope this video helped to uh, how to create the header um, header row by using the SSH package. Thanks for watching the video.